In hindsight, there were signs. Omens of the terrible things to come. The first one came with the rains. With the early snows blocking its mouth, the rains flooded the Gotham River, actually reversing its course for three full days. The second sign came soon after. A lion at the Gotham Zoo gave birth to a deformed cub. A cub with two heads. Rivers running backwards. Beasts born wrong. We should have seen it coming. We should have read the bones. He should have, too. Most of all, him. Sound about right, Harvey? That's what you're worried the newspapers will say? Hell, Commissioner. You can write the copy yourself. I'm just saying, with the river, the two and the kitty, whatever the hell the next big crime is, it'll have the push of superstition behind it. We should all get ready for some blame. The rags will be leading the charge, too. Everyone in their granny will be saying we should have seen it coming. Because of the omens. The strange days in Gotham. Probably. And that doesn't bother you at all? Of course it does. What bothers me more is that part of me worries they're right. But honestly, right now, this moment, what bothers me most is right over there. That was the last one, eh? Every single hideout I had up here for my smokes, exposed and tagged. Hell, I've only got one hiding spot left at home, and Barbara's sure to find it soon, the way she hurts me. What the hell was I thinking offering a damn prize? A day off? Your health, probably, but who am I to talk? Maybe, but truth be told, I never thought they'd actually find them all. Oh, be the proud daddy. <sighs> all right, let us ascend. I have a few things to finish before I clock out. Seriously though, Commissioner. That lie I gave her birth. Everyone there to see. All the kids with the balloons. And what the hell comes out but some two-headed monster? Polycephaly. It's not as uncommon as you think. <laughs> Tell that to the kids in therapy. I mean, some damn things you cannot see. Commissioner. We found these 20s in a hot spot in the Narrows. The iodine test was clean, though. You want me to order more analysis? No. Don't bother. They're bleached and reprinted. But how can you tell? I can smell it on the bill. Serious? Uh, no. Jackson is looking left, not right. See? What the? How did I not catch that? Go easy on yourself, Daniels. Back in Chicago, right? Everyone be calm. Stay where you are. The generator should. And there we go. Is everyone... All right? Not you. Hello, Gotham's finest. Now, stop me if you've heard this one. A man walks into a bar. Everyone watch out. It's Joker. Joker? He's in the room. Oh, what's the matter? You've heard it already. The Joker is here? Okay, then. Let's try some new material. Joker! Put your hands in... What? Where? All right, how about this one? Officer Bradtree. A clown walks into a bar. No, please, stay away. You've heard it, huh? Tough crowd, the old GCPD. Bradtree, no. <laughs> All right, take three. Officer Guadalupe. A clown walks into a police station. Don't. What? Don't. You've heard this one too. <sighs> Stop it! Oh, I'm just trying to get a laugh, Jimbo. It's a classic too. So many variations. A clown in a Hawaiian shirt knocks on a door. Eh? <laughs> or maybe a bat flies into a room. Or even a clown walks into a police station looking for his face. <laughs> Fine. Just leave them alone. You hear me? Come for me. Leave them alone. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. All right, all right. I know when my act is bombed. I missed you while I was gone. Almost as much as I missed you. I'll be seeing him soon enough, though. And he does have my calling card. You're looking so well, though. Little Barbara, too. Don't say her name. 
So healthy, both of you. But I admit, I'm disappointed in you too, Gordo. All the work you do to make Babs proud, and then you go and blow it. You hide things. Doesn't he hide things, Officer McGay? Get off of me, you! No! Yes, Kamish. You do hide things. Like that last pack of smokes. The one you hide in your apartment. In that final hiding spot where Barbara won't look. Where no one will. Under your bed. In the wire netting. Sometimes I lie under there at night and listen to you sleep. The sad things you say. How I want to just reach my arms up and... <laughs> Jim, it's me. Where's the Joker? Where? <sighs> he's... he's gone. What did he say, Jim? He told a... Oh God, Batman. He told a joke. Unidentifiable. No matches. Run Fiber Trace again. Unidentifiable. No matches. <sighs> you must have known he'd be back sometime. Yes, I knew. He stayed away so long this time, I suppose I allowed some small part of myself to become hopeful we'd seen the last of him. But I suppose, Master Bruce, if that rack of vials is grim evidence of anything, it's... It's evidence that I've stopped him before, Alfred. I'll stop him this time. Of course you will. Forgive me, sir. It's simply that when it comes to him, I suppose I give myself and you more license to hope than fear. Fear? Come on, Pennyworth. Maybe Joker used to be some great adversary of my father's, but he's over now. I mean, he allowed some second-rate Dr. Frankenstein to get the better of him and cut off his face. Then he slunk off for a year to lick his wounds, and now he comes back and steals his face. So what? Don't underestimate him, Damien. Whatever he was doing this past year, it wasn't licking his wounds. And he didn't let Dollmaker get the best of him. He allowed his face to be cut off. He left it there for us. Like a message. A message? Meaning what? Right now, I'm not so sure. Batman. Nightwing calling in. Go ahead, Nightwing. Is it true? He's back? It seems so, yes. Have you told Batgirl? <clears throat> I thought she might rather hear it from the Commissioner. Batman, Red Robin. So, how did he do it? They used one of the GCPD's own pulse guns, removed it from a squad car. They instituted them a few months ago to disable cars giving chase. He stole one and amplified it, put it under the department in the sewer, aimed up. Used the police's own weapon against them. <laughs> it's almost funny. And the generator? He blew it from inside. Hold on. Batman? Batgirl? Why didn't you say anything? I thought the commissioner... No, about the commissioner. Why didn't you tell me that piece of trash came after him? Look, never mind. What do you have on him? Nothing. He took the face and disappeared. But in the years since he dropped off the face of the Earth? You must have something. Master Bruce, look. This is the yeah. local Hello, news, sir. Hello, Gothamites. It's so good to be back. Batman, I'm hearing. I've what? seen it. Run Don't facial you and voice me? recognition. It's J Joker. I was a... <laughs> the arms, Louder, Joker. Or that bad thing the we talked about. Gag. It's me, Joker. I was away for a little while, yes. But now I'm back. <laughs> Good, but you can do better. Read from the prompter. Now I'm back. The city was calling to me, you see. Calling me back to serve. So here I am, and I come bearing news from afar. And the news is this. Mayor Haiti dies at midnight. The Joker has spoken. But just because these mayor don't think he may or may not die, he's as dead as a baby bird smashed with a crowbar. Midnight tonight. <laughs> Sometimes I just k k kill me. Please. Please. <laughs> the voice recognition has come through, sir. Who is he? He's John Claridge. The son of the late Henry Claridge, the diamond magnet. 
Henry Claridge was also the first person Joker ever murdered in Gotham. To my knowledge, it was the first time he appeared here. And? He came on television, just like that, and announced Claridge would die at midnight. And Joker had him poisoned 24 hours earlier. It was the first use of Joker toxin on record, too. All of it was the first time. He's reenacting it for some reason. Batman, we can help on this one. No. You're all doing crucial work of your own. But Batman- It's alright. This is between him and me. There's no way in. Everything's sealed up. The glass is bulletproof. The walls are three feet thick on this floor. It's a fortress, Gordon. That damn clown has no way in. Now, you've tested enough of my blood to drown a vampire. You've pumped me full of enough of that vigilante's bad antidote to turn me into one. I understand all this, Mr. Mayor, but I'd still feel more comfortable with my men inside the room. Fine, fine. If it makes you feel better. But keep them on that side at least, will ya? The soles of your standard issue scuff up the floor. I just had it cleaned last week. Souls, got it. I'll recheck the elevators. Evening. Evening, Jim. Uh, I'm afraid to ask how long you've had eyes on the mayor's place. Then don't. Anything? Mayor Hattie's blood is clean. The signs are normal. The water's clean. Vents are clean. Security's up. So no, nothing. How are you? Terrible. But I imagine you can see that. What did he mean when he said you already had his calling card? Was he talking about his face, Batman? I don't know, Jim. All right, I'm going to get back. It doesn't show on me, does it? You can't hear it, I mean, in my voice? It doesn't show. Fear. Jim's talking about fear. Fear for the ones you care about. He knows Joker almost as well as I do. All the men Jim's lost to him. The allies. The loved ones tortured and killed. He knows you can't show it, though. Not to the ones you want to protect. Not to anyone. So, you pretend like you're not affected. Like you've heard it all before. Even now. When you sense something even worse in him. Something different. Meaner. And angrier than before. Everything points to it. First. The face. Left there like a proclamation then disappearing for a full year. And now, the way he's come storming back, breaking the necks of the officers himself at the station with his own hands, even though he normally doesn't do his own dirty work. The reenacting of his former crimes, none of it is like him. And the mention of the card? No. What is it, the mayor? No, it's everyone else. <laughs> Help me. Sending samples of toxin. The toxin is a binary component. Half was in an epidermal solution he must have dabbed on their clothes. The other half, the activating half, was in the floor cleaner the mayor used. Also, it's a variation of toxin 34, but the toropin levels have been adjusted to produce a different muscular contraction in the facial muscles, resulting in... A frown. I know. Give me something else. Anything. It's likely nothing. But the computer's finding three non-essential components to the compound. Three substances that seem to simply be additives. Nothing functional. Chlorine, ethan, and common aspirin. Mm -hmm. Sir? The first letters. He's taken it back to where it all started. Ace. Joker! I've been waiting for you, old friend. I thought this would be the perfect place for it to all start again. This factory, this room, these vats, where you knocked me off this very catwalk and bathed me in fire and burned away my false skin. Where you showed me the skin beneath my skin. Brings back memories, no? Little trip down memory lane. The trip ends here, Joker. <laughs> oh, how I've missed you, Bats. How I still miss you. The real you. The one underneath. 
That's why I left, you know. I couldn't stand it anymore, missing you. But I'm here now, rapping at your window, looking for you, my shadow, telling you to come out and play. So will you? Will you play with me like old times? You're not him! Where is he? Too slow, old friend. <laughs> Too slow to save the policeman. Too slow to save the mayor's men. And too slow to play with me. You've gotten fat. Soft. Soft enough you can't even stop a bunch of old birds from roosting in your spires without help. Owls? Oh, bats, your kingdom rots beneath you. It makes me frown, frown, frown. Like the men at the mayor's feet. Frown so deep my jaw is breaking. Crack! I look at you when I want to knock on your skull and ask, Who's in there? Who is this? Where's my old friend? <sighs> but don't worry. We're going to correct it all tonight. Because now I'm here. I've come back to save you! Save you from the ones you call your allies, your table, the ones who make you slow, the ones who make you weak. I'm here to take them down one by one. So that you may be reborn as the Batman this city deserves. Reborn in glory. Hope you brought your swim trunks. <laughs> Harley, I know you're up there. He's not the same, Babs. He's not my Mr. J anymore. And what he's gonna do to you? His plan. I can't... Where is he, Harley? Tell me! Where is Joker? What in... Where's my little guy? I've been looking everywhere. My god. Now, Mr. Pennyworth, stop me if you've heard this one. 